is now BL fired by himself against Enable Erupt and Bloods, and he's got surrounded by right now this by this Elevate squad. Hey, yeah, and he absolutely just got swarmed. He didn't have the right gun to engage at longer range, and he will get picked up by Erupt with that Remington R5. Great shots on target there, and just like that, it's a 2-1 lead once again here for Curse New York as now Elevate is going to be on offense, and they seem to be clicking on offense as well. So let's see what they can do here as they uh, they're probably they going to go for an aggressive push once again, Jared. Absolutely they are. I'm going to stick on board with Enable again right off the rip here. He's going to sit top apartment. Going to wait on this flank to see if this A pusher realizes that no one's at A is going to make an aggressive push to the flank, and he's going to wait patiently over here. No one's going to peek out, so he's going to push middle map. Let's go to where the gunfight's actually happening, and you've got Strife... With the bomb, he's going to fire some shots onto that stairway and back of the water tower. Not going to find anybody waiting for his team to push up so he can push up and plan it. That's right, and just a lot of gunfire going off, and finally two players do go down. One for Team New York, and then another one for Elevate, as it is a 3v3 situation right now. Strife is still the bomb carrier, but he's trying to play for picks all the way in the back of the map. He's got to move up. Now that his Whoa. teammates are here to back him up, another one drops down, but Strife will pick up another kill. And just like that, he's going to try to get this bomb down and have his teammate back him up. Bomb's going down. Strife saw that player, but he's able to get the bomb down. Didn't hesitate off of it. It's a 1v2 situation, but it was good that he got the bomb down. Inexperienced players might jump off and try to get that kill when they saw it, but it's important to get the objective down and let your player try to play for the picks. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, and BL Fire and Revan get the best of them, and they're going to go ahead and defuse this bomb and take this round on defense 3-1. to one. Yeah, 3-1 right now, as they do have the momentum from the first match where they did take it in strike zone domination. Now, they are all knotted up on this search and destroy here on Warhawk. And let's see which team will come out with the victory here as we're going into the fifth round right now. And Curse New York is back on offense. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 3-1? I meant 2-2. Two two. My bad. 2-2, two two. BL fires, they're making an aggressive push to the middle, unfortunately it's not going to work with those smoke screens going down, 3-4 to four as BL fires going to go down right away, it looked like an Elevate was able to sniff that out very, very quickly, the thermals weren't able to make a difference, 3v3 is your, as, oh no, another player drops from Elevate, it's 2v3, Enable and Bloods are by themselves, and Enable's got that snipper, but he's dangerous with it, so they've got to be mindful of it. As you saw, he's got some quick hopes. He spotted some players back on the flank. He's going to wait for it, and he's going to try to make something happen on defense. This is this is not typical. This is not typical for the offense to be so heavily, oh my god, pushed up on the flank like this. Yeah, absolutely. And if you look at that, that overhead map view, you can see that they're perfectly set up for this bomb plant. They just have to make sure that they pick up Bloods, who's overextending in a very sneaky area. They do ah. spot him, but they don't pick him up yet. He's over here by Blue Tarp. Will they find him? He's being very sneaky indeed, but that's a hard job. Finally, they find him, and it burns off that will get those kill shots on him. Beautiful positioning here for this gunfight. There's no way Burns Off was going to lose that gunfight. He was not going to lose that gunfight. I like the little spot jumping on Bond and head glitching. Even though you can shoot through that fence, Curse is going to take this 3-2 to two in the series, but this is back and forth, neck and neck, and that's what we like to see. Ultimately, what John's calling is a 6-5 win in favor of Elevate, who's down by one round. But look at this. No one's grabbing the bomb right now. We talk about chemistry, we talk about communication, no one's even grabbed the bomb and they're already down a player, still in spawn. This is not a good look right now, they're going to have to win some crucial gunfights if they want to make any kind of plays happening, knowing that they're already down a player. That's right, it's, Enable is trying to even things up. He will not be able to get the kill shot until just then, or he wow. will pick it up. So now the player count is even, but Enable finds himself all the way back in their spawn. And that is not ah. where you want to be. And now, Jarrett, the oh bomb is gosh. down there. So this is going to be a very tough spot for Team Ella. My gosh, your bomb is down in spawn. Erupt and Blood's got to make a push all the way home to get their bomb. And they've got Revan and Mochilla waiting patiently over by B, knowing that there's a lot of action going on here. They're going to wait over here. But they might be able to pull off this nice little rotation over to the A bomb site. And leading that is Bloods. He's going to pick up the bomb over here if he can find it. He's going to push over. They are definitely going to be planning at A. If they can pull this off, it's going to be super sneaky. He's definitely going to catch this Cursed New York squad off base. 
Yeah, it is, and this is looking really good. I did not expect for that push to actually work. Very delayed, but right now he's going to be able to get this bomb down with no problem. Hopefully his teammate can actually see that there's someone overextending, but look at this. Bloods, he is literally fighting for his life right here as he is one shot from death, but he is perfectly positioned to defend. He might get pinched, though, if he's not careful. Oh, he's going to get pinched for sure. American is a typical spot. He's going to be hiding and able to pick up one kill. Pre-firing, that's a smart thing. He's 1v1 though, he's got to reload. Unfortunately, Ooh. bad timing, he's not going to work out. And Revan's going to be in your final kill cam there. And he's going to be able to defuse this bomb. That was a huge play. Just not, it's not the perfect timing. That's what this game really boils down to in some events, unfortunately. And Curse New York's going to take the better of that timing and take the series 4-2 so far in the rounds. Oh man, he was so close from being able to clutch that one out. But that reload was what got him killed there as now it is 4-2 in favor of Curse New York and it is Elevate that has got to get stuff going here on defense if they want to be able to hang here. Burns off though, once again, your bomb carrier and they're going aggressive on Alpha once again. Yep, Trophy's going down. He's already got two plants so far in this series here. A pick is going to happen over there. I believe that was BL Fire, and the bomb is down 4v2 so quickly. They just got to defend, and another one drops. It's Strife. He's by himself as another one bites the dust, and he's got to make a play happen against four players who are absolutely surrounding this A-bomb, and it's not going to work out as Curtis is going to be able to pick him off moving into American. Revan's going to be in your final kill cam, able to finish him off here as he runs into the pro shot, or the American shot. Yeah, he ran right into American, and there was no way that he was going to survive. That is a team ace there by Curse wow. New York. They do not drop a single player in that round, and now they find themselves just one round away from being, to, uh, being able to pick up this uh, second win here on this best of seven. But once again, Elevate going straight for that Bravo bomb and erupt as your bomb carrier. Erupts your bomb carrier. They're going to have make a heavy push over to B. And historically, when we watch this squad on our show, they almost always go to B. Literally almost every single time they go to B. And most times it works. I like Erupt's little positioning here. He can see through the crates over to 10, see if anybody pokes out. But Enable gets dropped on the flank. It's a 3v4 situation and flank is exposed. It looks like Erupt's going to be able to pick up a player in 10. They've got to push up, though, and make a play on bomb and get this planted if they want to make this uh, this curse squad play to them because right now they're just going to sit back and wait patiently. Yeah, that's right. And right now they do have the time on their side as it is a 40 second game here at the moment. And it's Strife that is just trying to strafe over wow. here on the loading dock. He cannot get his shots to connect though. Wow. And then he will get taken down after he does pick up a player by that grenade by uh -oh, Revan. Uh -oh, so uh -oh, perfect uh -oh. grenade. But Revan uh -oh. is all by himself. Can he clutch it out is the question as he's actually going big for his team. He's 8-3. and 8-3 and three for his squad. Oh, spotted a player there. Ah, he's just firing. He knows where he's at, though. It's 1v1 Bloods versus Revan. Revan's going to pull a little flanky flank over here, though, and rotate, knowing that this player thinks he's somewhere else. It's probably best in best interest of Bloods to stay in one spot. 21 seconds, though, to defuse this bomb, and he's in post office while Revan's searching the truck again. Yeah, he it definitely is, and he spots him. Found Can him. he get the shots? He cannot. Ah. Revan is trying to get these shots to connect. Can he do time. it with this time? He will pick it up, and that will do it. But that defuse did not happen in time, and look at that. Dang, Revan's got to be That is about going that. to be a 5-3 score, and Elevate still showing sounds of, uh, signs of life here. Elevate showing signs of life. Able to pick that up, and that was perfect playing by Bloods right there. Just trying to stay alive, and it worked out for him. Um, unfortunately for Revan, who got bested right there in that 1v1 situation. It happens, though. This map is huge. There's so many places you can hide, and we're on board with Curse New York, who is going heavily, all four of them, to this B-bomb site. Yeah, they are, and this is, this is what I like to see. They're mixing it up. They've gone to Alpha and been, been successful there. But now they want to mix it up and try to go for another Bravo bomb push and burns off once again an aggressive push to Bravo. He will get that bomb down. down. No players have gone down yet. And let's see how these exchanges on these gunfights are going to go down. Well, I love this. Revan's going to back up to the flank to help his teammate here. Spotted a player. Two on the flank, two guarding the bomb. This is going to work out. 4v4 if they can just win their gunfights. Unfortunately, player rotates back. Revan's just going to try to stay alive and wait for them to come to him. 
And that's the smart play right now because it is a 4v2 situation. Now 3v2, 2v2 as wow. Elevate is dropping like flies. Revan will pick up another kill, but he will get picked up. And Enable and BL Fire are left alive. And there's eight seconds left. Not that enough is time. plenty of time, though. I think he might be able to get it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Nope! No! Wow! I oh, thought he had oh that, but he did God. not. No, he did not have enough time, and it was, as soon as he picked it up, I was like, not enough time, just run away. But you gotta try it. This game boils down to milliseconds. If any of you watched UMG Philly, you know this happened to Denial versus Envy with Flawless Last Alive and literally missed the defuse in the game-winning round of S&D on Sovereign by a millisecond. Talk about heartbreak and talk about timing in this game. They even fixed the bomb timer and uh, the pickup speed and everything for this. And uh, sometimes this game is it's, it's almost like football. It's like a game of inches, but it's really a game of seconds. And uh, it looks like Curse New York is going to be able to take your first S&D on Warhawk, taking the series now in this best of seven, two to zero over Elevate. Yeah, and the funny thing is, though, Elevate played well against uh, a very good SND team as well. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this matchup for sure as it's looking like these predictions I'm telling you. I, I hope we don't see a shout out here tonight. But either way, Curse New York playing very well, but Blitz Freight might be the equalizer that we've been waiting here for Team Elevate. What are you laughing at, dude? Because my sponsor is just typing the most horrible, heinous stuff to me in the chat. No, he's just joking around. So I'm going to go ahead and predict Elevate to win this Blitz Freight. <laughs> Elevate needs, actually, Elevate needs to, to, to win something here soon because it's coming down to the wire. Let's fray it. Elevate, we've seen, they, they do well on yeah. this map. Just just in general, they've got a, a fine-tuned uh, strategy for this map, and it works out most of the time. I think that this is going to be a very high-scoring game, though. I think the defense isn't going to be too big of a too big of a factor on both sides of the squad um, as Respawn isn't necessarily Curse New York's strong suit you know, they're, they're monsters to search and destroy but they're just slightly above average i would say at respawn yeah. based on what you watch when you watch pro scrims or when you uh you've been watching in the winter invitational so it'll be exciting to see this i think that's gonna be a high scoring game again but ultimately i think that curse new york's gonna win this side too make sure you guys are tweeting out that stream we got rage duff man and my man mark doing the casting for us tonight giveaways coming at the end of the show you already know that, but make sure you guys are showing these guys some support. They're seriously on the casting grind. Elevate, oh, please don't let me down, Elevate. I love you guys, don't let me yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> you heard oh it there God. from John, a little motivational elevate, speech. Elevate, please don't, please don't, Elevate. I mean, through going down 3-0 is tough to come back from, let's be honest. It is, it is very it's tough. tough. It is tough, but this is the squad they're rolling with God Champs qualifiers too, and uh, you know it's this is good practice for them. Again, guys, this is a show match. This is not for prize money. This is not at the stakes. These teams are just practicing strategies, not getting too hurt about losing. They're just really trying to find two things, learn where they can pick up and improve, and uh, that's ultimately what you're seeing at a really high professional level between these two squads. Absolutely, and they and they are pro teams, so they are very familiar with each other. They have played before, and Elevate has been on the winning side of things against curse before and curse has been on the winning side of things as well so right now we'll see how this series will get cooking here as it is curse new york that has a 2-0 lead but will team elevate get on the board on this blitz here on freight is the question as we only have three seconds left before these two teams head to the races I think they might, and we're going to stick on both Elevate early on here. As you're going to see, one, two, three strikes, you're out, and they're all running subs. Everybody's running a submachine gun right now early on. Blood's going to get taken out early on. 3v3, three people are down. Strife's got to rotate to the back, and he's going to get daggered, absolutely daggered there by... Mochilla, who's going to put in the score. And I want to talk about Mochilla. I saw someone say this in the chat, and I 100% agree with this. Mochilla is one of the most underrated guys in the game. Underrated pros. This guy is a monster in almost all game types as another score goes up for Curse New York. This guy is an absolute monster. He's someone you want to keep on your watch because he's going to absolutely do huge things as he's already 3-1 and one with the score for his squad. Yeah, he's doing absolutely excellent on this match right now as Machilla actually is underrated, as you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But if you just keep an eye out on his name, it means backpack 
in Spanish for those of you that are in the chat. <laughs> so right now he's showing that he's living up to his name. Back